everybody. Today the bookworms are going to be reading We Are Back, a Dinosaur Story, written and illustrated by Hudson Talbot. One day, as I was beginning a little afternoon snack, I noticed a small but tasty looking creature approaching me. Hi there, sir, he began. My name is Vorp and I'm with Mega Mind Inc. We are test marketing a new ultra mega vitamin on your planet. It's called Raw Brain Grain. A weird feeling jolted me. I began to utter strange but somehow meaningful sounds. As I was saying, Vorp panted. We are testing a new Megamind product, and for the lucky volunteers, there is an extra special bonus prize. I wondered what he meant. Then he added, and free snacks. I said yes. The other folks on board were surprisingly friendly, considering my years of terrorizing them. I was amazed at how easily they accepted the new me. It wasn't long before we became a new us. Together, we studied geography, math, penmanship, reading, and all sorts of things. Then one day, Vorb came in and announced, You've passed! Thanks to you all, our research has been a success. And now for your prize, it's a trip to the 20th century. There you'll meet our favorite contact person, Dr. Miriam Blabe of the Museum of Natural History. What an adventure awaits you. Just getting to the museum should be a thrill of a lifetime. Thrill of a lifetime, I asked. But before there was time for Vorb to reply, we were suddenly plunging downward in the dark toward water. We all sat in silence as we puppeted toward our destiny, wondering what sort of welcome we would receive. Uh, excuse us, sir, we asked of the first little creature we saw. Could you tell us how to get to the Museum of Natural History? You're looking for the start of the parade, huh? Just keep heading uptown. Traffic's light, because it's a holiday. Great costumes, he said. Costumes? Parade? Well, we didn't want to seem like out-of-towners, so we nodded, thanked him, and marched on. We walked and walked until someone waved at us and shouted, Quick! Get in line behind the Wichita Falls! Marching band! They're about to start! Perhaps this is some kind of welcome ceremony, we thought. The crowd loved us, but they didn't call out with curious questions such as, Where are the motors? And how many guys are in there? We simply smiled and waved and acted as if we knew exactly what they were talking about. Suddenly, I caught sight of what I thought was a familiar face. Say, isn't that old Wurgle? I exclaimed. That Allosaurus who used to hang out by the tar pool? Maybe he can tell us where to get a bite around here. Hey there, big fella. Long time no see. Put her the partner. That was my first mistake. Panic struck. Monsters hit Midtown. They didn't understand us. Somehow we found our way to the museum, and not a moment too soon. Dr. Bleep! May we come in? I said, as Dr. Bleep opened the door. Sure, but hurry replied Dr. Bleep. I have a plan, but we'll have to act quickly. I can't hold them off for long. Now listen carefully. I want you to act like dinosaurs. That shouldn't be too hard, as she said, kneeling down and baring her teeth like this. And when I say freeze, hold perfectly still. As she got up from a demonstration, we timidly tried to imitate her pose. She hurried toward the door, then turned and yelled, Freeze! The door creaked open and the stomp of combat boots echoed throughout the halls. We didn't move a muscle. So you see, officer, I heard Dr. Bleep say, the only beasts we have are these models in our diorama. The creatures you speak of have been extinct for a hundred million years. I don't know who you saw running here, Perhaps it was a publicity stunt for some movie or the Equirer. They probably went out this way. Come back and see us again when you have m more time. 
Yes, I'm sure you like dinosaurs. You are only doing your job. I must go now. Goodbye and good luck. Dr. Bleep, I said. Thank you for saving us. But is it too late to get out of this bonus prize? Not having a good time, she replied. Aren't you just a little curious about this new world? There's so much to learn from each other. If you could stay a while and work with us here in the museum, you, but you don't have to decide right now. Why don't you sleep on it? We've got your beds all made. After we settled in, Dr. Bleep opened a book. Once upon a time, she read, in the early Palazoic era, there was a little trilobite who wanted more than anything to walk on land. Go for it, I muttered. We've come this far. Why not? That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye!